Okay, so you just have to uh, place this grid uh, however you want. Nice uh, sci-fi grids. Okay. So uh, here you uh, have it. And now we can start working a little bit on uh, uh, parallaxing. Since I don't have uh, other, uh, I'm just checking the size. Uh, so the glow isn't clipped. Okay. And uh, now that you have things in your background, you can start to work on the parallax. For now, if I play the game, the scrolling will uh, just uh, follow. There's no sense of uh, real depth, except for maybe uh, I will do something like uh, push them to the back by lowering the opacity. Set them to 50, so it's a bit uh, less present. So more blended with the back color. Okay, but uh, no real sense of depth. So now I uh, will set a slight parallax. You don't have to be too uh, obvious. You could do something like uh, this and this and you would have a, a crude parallax, horizontal parallax but I think, and that's really a personal taste that um, there's too much uh, going on in the back by doing so oh no explosion? there's a problem I'll see what happened Maybe I don't know. Okay, so to meet, uh, let's first correct uh, the bug we just uh, encountered. Here, uh, I want everything to be invisible here. And the, the explosion wasn't spawned. Uh -huh. Die, destroy, and I use the undestroyed, right? Undestroyed, spawn, explode. Oh, oh. I should probably do. Yeah, I should probably do. S replace this by this. Here I was uh, using the, s the enemy body to spawn the explosion. And maybe the anybody was destroyed before this kicking, etc. So uh, you want to use the same object to spawn your explosion, I think. Ah, just die. Boom. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That wasn't the issue. The issue was this. It wasn't going in the proper layer. Main. All right, that's better. Okay, so there's a lot going on in the in the background, and personally, I prefer this kind of effect to be more subtle. So what I would do is to set the background one to just. 90 and this one to 95 so you have a, a little bit of parallaxing going on but not so much as to attract too much attention so you have a <coughs> okay uh, I will also uh, the checkpoints set them to invisible and start okay um, yeah 
all right so uh, explosion etc etc how much time all right everything is working we have our par parallax I just have to add some better looking spikes now it's uh, really uh, the moment you start uh, making the game uh, pop spikes I've made four spikes so you have uh, a bit of uh, a variation it's not uh, the same and they are a bit bigger than uh, my tiny sprites so I have to change them slightly mm -hmm. there's a weird uh, what was the size oh yeah a little bastard size 36 okay so spikes I will set the height to 36 yeah that's a problem <laughs> I don't know why I didn't have this problem in the game I oh yeah in the game I just uh, clipped it to uh, 32 and it doesn't make that much of a difference and it's easier to place and by the way by the way you should I'll top left height 32 this way I will crop the if it stretch it will resize here I line top left it will crop this way so I have a power of 2 in this side and there I don't have a power of 2 which is not good but well it's working <laughs> so yeah you have some spikes now I will maybe just do this this way it looks more centered okay alright so we have some spikes, some deadly spikes and now a little trick to make some fancy platforms without too much uh, uh, too much difficulty uh, nine patch nine patch allows you to have a uh, well you'll see <laughs> Um, <laughs> here platforms here it looks like crap but if you set things right uh, 12 12 uh, yeah I'm just uh, reproducing uh, the values here you start seeing something really cool happening this is um, let me check 32. Yeah, 32. This is my original sprite here, but the nine, nine patch um, object allows me to just keep the border intact and stretch what is what is inside. And I used this effect of stretching to have a kind of uh, nice little. Uh, blurring effect, blurred light effect it's, uh, it happens by accident but I kinda like the effect so now you can just set it to solid and use them, they don't have collision polygons so it's a uh, bounding box by default and you just have to use them in s instead of your former uh, um, background object background former platform uh, collision uh, black uh, uninteresting things here and your game starts to get really better with uh, no real difficulty 
uh, before an online patch you would have to reproduce the same thing to to make uh, every piece is uh, the top the side well the, the top could be stretch a stretch uh, uh, no because it would have stretched in this uh, side so no uh, without the nine patch it's a real uh, pain here it's just a matter of reusing them I could have uh, put them in uh, containers and keep my uh, old ones uh, underneath but I think I will just delete the old uh, collisions so the old collisions are round I just have to uh, shift click on those I want to keep then check I have a 9 patch on top of all of them and then delete here I stretch it so I give the impression the platform uh, goes on uh, after the outside of the layouts. Okay, so now you have pretty much uh, you have the neon platform again. I will remove these checkpoints, put the text checkpoint. Uh, yeah, here it's okay. And here you yeah you pretty much have the whole game except for moving platforms and for sound. We'll see sound uh, this Saturday. So yeah, I think let me triple check. Oh yeah, there's the end feedback that isn't the same. The enemies look a bit mm, bigger than uh, what I configured. We ha you have coins on tried to uh, jump but you have coins on top of uh, what you had before and I will just uh, use an end uh, text and probably rename most of what I've just added uh, roof light, sailing light no. just renaming background grids it's columns, spikes, uh, text box, it's our debug. Okay, spikes, uh, nothing is named sprite. Here, particle, let's call it health effects. Uh, ground, oh yeah, a uh, nine patch will be. I will change ground for collision. And nine patch for ground. Okay. So everything is named properly. It's starting to get a bit uh, cluttered, but I don't dislike it. But if you don't like having uh, all these things, you can create folders. Can you? Oh, haha, <laughs> not in free edition, sorry. Ah! I didn't check all the limitations. That's not the main ones. The main ones are the number of layers and the number of effects and the use of family. So yeah, uh, I want to add a text object to uh, to reassure you. I almost never create folders in the object because I don't like to. Uh, to have to go back and forth in folders, it's a pain. Okay, so HUD, I will use the same color I set here, so I should rather do a clone instead of a new text. Let me see. Here, I could delete this one, and point counter will be the end text. You can set it to middle, 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 center, 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 everything is center, it's in the HUD, and you can set it to here, you might want to just see your line, one of the use of the, of the layers is to be able to toggle them off, 
and uh, anyway you don't really need this line because you know it's a 600 and